At Joe, we started, uh, SM Partner started this program, actually me and some of my friends together too. We start this program called Generation, it's actually is Agile for Generation Z++. Um, it's a series of uh, action learning based workshops focused on developing agile servant leadership mindsets and culture amongst uh, like corporations. And actually we're very focusing on the youth. Um, and because youth are our future. Um, so in the program, we have a two level for the uh, individual and the youth and four level for the organization to be able to help an organization become a mature, self-growing, uh, action learning, continuous learning organization. Um, and we do have, as what I mentioned, the Agile Leadership Culture Game. And at the same time, combined it with a self-growth um, habit program. So today, actually, uh, we will show the level one and level two of a self-growth habit program for individual and team. Now, let's give you some history. How we started this program, the um, Gen Agile Z++, or we now change it to Gen Z Agile. Um, so it's, it's actually, there's opportunity. I was a speaker in a PMI Indonesia in uh, 2019, about March. And, um, and someone told me that, hey, uh, actually it's not for uh, construction, it's only for IT. And I say, oh, hey, it's not true. So right on the spot, um, the day before, um, the, the friend that, is, that introduced me to this um, PMI uh, Indonesia, um, Consul uh, the uh, symposium, um, she taught, she brought me to buy, if you can see the uh, right bottom side of the, um, the screen, we did a lot of props. By the way, this is very similar to Lego, but we don't like to use Lego. Uh, but at the same time, this game is, is, is different from Lego. Um, so we are actually using very colorful props that uh, everyone is so fun to do because fun is, is how we can inspire creativity. And when someone is happy, we can really actually um, be very innovative and, um, and like to be team playing too. And at the same time, we're emphasizing on the culture and mindset, not the processes in this game. So um, this, this game had... Only on that workshop, we already have 120 plus project management professionals and directors playing on it. And since then, um, up to e 2000 and, um, and uh, last year, actually, we have over 2000 executives playing the games already and giving us a lot of feedbacks. And because of that, we help us to evolve our program further, especially tailor made to the, to the youth. Okay, so continue. These are the communities that have uh, some of the samples that we have practices, um, these. And um, so, so this is really is a hands-on experience we want. We want to help people to evolve the program iteratively and um, in incrementally. And at the same time, we want your feedback too. So if you would like to be part of us, uh, which is we are not like a dictator type, you know, we just want to be like open open source type sharing, but we want to have more people spreading around in the world uh, step by step with us and uh, and feedback to us and partner with us. So um, I hope that it's, you will have an interest and then contact me after, after the um, presentation. So about this culture game, um, how we find out that actually it works really well. Our program, the Gen S Child program with the youth, what we find is that we, um, the youth can be empowered to be our co-facilitator of a agile-based um, leadership and also agile processes game. Um, so this is very interesting. Um, thing. And so there is a website um, on, on the top of this page that you can relate to. Um, and um, please click to it when you get the PPT from um, Susan later on. Um, so if you see, this is the, um, on the right hand side there, the students and the, um, that has involved in the first pilot in the first high school. And these students became the, um, uh, our co-facilitators to their, these are the uh, great, 
grade 11 students and they became grade nine students co-facilitators. And then after three months of our coaching and mentoring and uh, encouragement, they involved in our, even in our PPP design and our props and things like that. At the same time, we brought them into a conference, which is the first Greater China Business Agility Conference that is host in Hong Kong. And each one of them become a co facilitator to each of the to one of the round table that has about eight to ten uh, top executives and coaches and um, project directors and because they are trained to um, to uh, about the game the processes of the game the essence of the games and things like that so they become experts and so um, so we tested by putting them as a co-facilitator to the round table of top executives. And what we found is the more senior the executive it is, the more natural that they are as a leader. They embrace the students amazingly. They embrace them. They encourage them. They invite them to play together and they listen to them. And they, and some of the tables really, really did so well. The executives, they um, they are the couple of those tables are, are really the top, top like CEO, C level, and and they really help the student to grow their confidence, and uh, help the student to be to feel that they're respected, they're being listened, and so that grow a lot of confidence. And we found that this would be a very good way of developing future talents for corporations. And so that's why we, we want to get on to it and do more about it. And I hope this would excite you too. So let's get into the uh, program. And um, today we are uh, the agenda. We will go through like these few um, uh, subjects. So let's talk, we all know about agile evolution. And so this is, what we all know about the, all, all of you are IT people, right? So um, the uh, manifesto, IT manifesto, agile manifesto, everyone would know about it, even though they start with agile software development, but we all know that now it's, it's become uh, corporations theme of uh, wanting to be the corporate um, to, to transform also. Uh, even though it's, it's quite challenging, but a lot of organizations are interested in it. And I am one of those that um, uh, have been practicing it for years in not just the IT level, but the uh, functionals and then uh, help coaching organizations um, to evolve in, um, in the transformation. So this really helps us is the uh, manifesto. And, and then when it comes to our programs, revolu evolution, as what I mentioned earlier, I find that after years of coaching and years of experience of, of uh, implementing agility in organizations, um, in teams and all these, where I find that actually the earlier we start with anyone, um, the easier. So, and but I also tested in um, in year of in in a, with the parents that are working with their kids of like five years old, and I also went to like um, organize some some events and and one on one with the uh, young generation of between five to fourteen, and it's actually find that they 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 learn much much faster. The mindset change, you know that in organization, if you are a coach, you might echo with me. It's so difficult in a very competitive environment. Is your working environment that you that you're in very competitive? Well, in Asia, most of the at least in Hong Kong, I guess, and also in Asia, and now in Beijing, everywhere that I come across is deadline is always yesterday, and KPIs are high demand, and um, so this this is so hard to change the people's mindsets. When they find that they don't have time and they think, oh, this is low priority. When the top executives are only chasing sales, especially because of COVID, they want to survive. It's so difficult. And so and that's why it's really inspired us. Rather than making money, we want to start growing young talents into that uh, mindset with the agility and also with certain basic skill sets that's required.